we're going to travel back over 60 years and look at a simple dipole, a wire dipole that covers three HF bands. But I'm going to show you how you can add an extra band. Well, welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. Topic today is antennas. We've still got a bit of fine weather around at the moment, so uh, if you may not have left it too late to get out in the garden and still mess about with uh, antennas. But before we talk about antennas, a couple of uh, products which perhaps you might want to uh, uh, make a note of because they're good prices. The first item is the High Gain AR500X, a rotator which is ideal for VHF and UHF antennas. Next is the Zigu G106HF transceiver, 80 meters to 10 meters SSB and CW. Uh, it's listed as a 5 watt transceiver, but on test we got around about 8 or 9 watts out of it. And lastly, take a look at this Midland CT590S. It was £69, it's now reduced to £39, a dual band handheld transceiver. Quite amazing value, check it out. Yes, this antenna goes back an awful long time. All you need is some wire, you need some 300 ohm ribbon, but before you get yourself any 300 ohm ribbon, just watch this video to the end because uh, uh, there's some changes I've made to it. Now it can be used as a horizontal antenna or it can be used as an inverted V and if you use it as an inverted V then consider one of the spider poles, the fiberglass spider poles that we do. They're very rugged, much more rugged than a lot of the other um, telescopic poles around. It'll last an awful long time and it's easy to, uh, to erect. On the screen here you can see the basic antenna. The overall length is going to be adjusted so it's resonant on the 40 meter band and got the formula above it which apparently takes into account the velocity factor of the 300 ohm ribbon which we're going to use because we have an overall length there which resonates on 40 meters but we have a section here of 300 ohm ribbon which is inserted and you've got the formula there for calculating the length of the ribbon and that section there will be resonant on 20 meters so it, what you've actually got is two parallel dipoles you've got the 40 meter dipole which is the overall length you've inserted some ribbon feeder in here and that ribbon feeder the bottom section of the ribbon feeder forms the 20 meter section now that's going to be approximately uh, just over five meters long as each each side is a quarter wave on 20 meters what we'll do is we'll make that slightly longer so we can trim it back so all you have to do is to assemble the antenna with a section of 300 ohm ribbon in place and I would suggest you make that about five I don't know 5.2 meters long something like that and then add the wire section there and good practice is to make that slightly longer than the calculation suggests. Once you've done that you end up with a dipole that covers 40 meters and 20 meters and you connect coax cable. Now they show 75 ohm because that goes back to 1959 when 75 ohm cable was the standard cable. Well 50 ohm will do almost as well. So now we've got an antenna that covers two bands. By the way, you could make this antenna, if you've got the room, make the antenna longer so that it covers 80 meters and 40 meters. You see the principle. But anyway, we're going to stick with the 40 meter and 20 meter band because it'll fit into a smaller garden anyway. So we've got an antenna that covers 40 meters and 20 meters, but the 40 meter length of antenna is also three half waves on 21 megahertz. That means to say that we'll also get a low impedance 
at the centre of that antenna, antenna on 21 megahertz, which means to say the antenna actually covers 40 meters, 20 meters, and 15 meters. So you've got a three band antenna. But I'm going to take this further. So instead of using 300 ohm ribbon, what I would suggest you do is replace that with 450 ohm ladder line. And now I'm going to show you a trick which will actually enable you to add one more band. Now that band can be uh, 17 meters, it could be 12 meters, it could be 10 meters, it's up to you. But let me show you how you can add an extra band simply by replacing the 300 ohm ribbon with 450 ohm ladder line. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes in this 450 ohm lad line. We're going to drill a hole at every one of these uh, insert sections there. So we take a drill and you need to get it in the center just like that. Don't uh, do it quite like that. So we've got a hole there and we're going to carry on drilling holes without being a problem, like that. And we just move this section along until we've got holes in each section. You need to, you need to measure out the um, ladder line first of all, so you know how much you've got to work with. Now what we're now going to do is to start to thread an extra element for our antenna in and out of the holes that we've drilled. Now we need to get this very tight but you can see the idea. If you thread those, thread this element in and out of the holes you've drilled then you've got an extra element. Now you only need to drill holes along the ladder line as far as you can go. So if, if you can have a 10 meter section, then you don't need so many holes working from the center feed point out along the ladder line. But you get the idea, drill holes, and then you can feed this line in and out of the uh, holes, and you've got the extra element. It's essential you make sure this is tight because you want to preserve the spacing between the outer conductors of the ladder line and this inner section that uh, you're threading through the uh, centre to create the fourth element, effectively, of your antenna. So that will produce a four-band antenna. 40, 20, 15 and one other band. The other band must be uh, higher than the 20 meter band in order to accommodate it in the 450 ohm ladder line. Tuning up, well the way to tune this up is to always start at the lowest frequency. Get the lowest frequency um, resonant, get the lowest WR on the lowest frequency, 40 meters in this case, then progress to the 20 meter band and then progress to the other band that you've created by interleaving that wire on the 450 ohm ladder line. On 15 meters, you may find the resonance is slightly higher um, than the multiple working up from 40 meters. In other words, if, if the resonant point is uh, seven megahertz on uh, uh, the 40 meter band, it'll probably be something like 21.1 20, or something like that. The, the, free, the resonance tends to um, move up as you um, uh, get these harmonic related uh, bands but uh, it shouldn't be a problem uh, and certainly your antenna matching unit inside your radio will match it with these. So you've got a, a four band antenna there and of course we're going through some very interesting periods on the HF bands now. The conditions have been very very good on the certain certain days and it's promising, well it will get better and it's promising to be quite a good cycle so it's a good time to think about erecting um, a decent antenna. As I said at the beginning, you can erect this as an inverted V. You could also use it as a vertical. If you used just half that antenna um, and ran it up uh, one of the spider poles, 
you could conceivably get a four band vertical. Now I haven't tried it vertically, I see no reason why it would not work, um, but of course you will need radials and so forth. But you could create a rather interesting four band vertical by running it up uh, a spider pole. It's a chance to experiment because that's what amateur radio is all about, isn't it? In the meantime, thank you for your support on this channel. I much appreciate it. And also thank you for your support uh, for our uh, sales team down at Portsmouth. It's been uh, uh, very encouraging. Don't forget we've got a new website now. So go to our new website uh, and explore it. www.hamradiostore.co.uk Have a look around and explore it. There may be one or two glitches, but um, I think by and large uh, it's a significant improvement over our previous website. So, thank you once again for watching this video. You take care, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.